everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be showing you guys what i eat in a day with high sugar levels during my pregnancy in my last pregnancy update i told you guys that unfortunately i have high sugar levels um i had the glucose test that i believe every pregnant uh, woman out there has to do um, it is very dirty you have to drink like a very sweet drink and then they can check your um, blood uh, sugars so unfortunately my blood sugars were too high um, I was still below pregnancy diabetes so I don't have pregnancy diabetes I'm still below that but I have a very strict diet now that they give to women who have high sugar levels or pregnancy diabetes. So if you have pregnancy diabetes, you can also follow this diet. First of all, I want to mention that I am no food expert at all. Um, so this meal plan that I will show you guys was prescribed to me by the dietitian. So I will just tell you guys what she told me. So if you have high sugar levels during your pregnancy, or uh, pregnancy diabetes please go see your doctor um, maybe you get a completely different diet i watched a lot of videos but most of the diets are the same i would say but yeah if you're interested in seeing what i eat in a day then please keep on watching and of course if you're new here on my channel welcome i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris turkey and i make a lot of lifestyle related videos vlogs and also about my pregnancy journey so if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started with the video so let's first get started with the foods that i have to avoid um, I also made a little meal plan and a little template that I will insert. Um, but the foods that I have to avoid are for example white rice, pastas, bread, fast food like processed foods, um, potatoes and this is the hardest thing for me. Um, I love potatoes. As a Dutch girl I'm a potato girl and this is the thing that I most struggle with I guess. But one thing that is really strange is that I had a look on the internet and in the Netherlands if you have pregnancy diabetes you can still eat potatoes but just um, not that much. But the dietitian told me that I can't eat potatoes at all so yeah that's the hardest thing I guess. No sugary drinks so no sodas. Um, I don't really struggle with that because I don't drink it to be honest. The only thing I drink is water and coffee. Um, so that's not very hard for me then pastries candy chocolate so basically everything with sugar in it uh, fast food processed foods and there's sugar in so many processed foods so you can better just avoid them all so um now i will show you a, a sample meal plan and um my breakfast hasn't changed that much um so for breakfast i always had a omelet um, or scrambled eggs or something like that with tomatoes cucumber and olives this is very common here in turkey to eat vegetables with your breakfast so i can just keep on doing that and then with one slice of whole wheat bread and i will now show you guys what i have for breakfast so i'm very happy that for breakfast there hasn't changed much um, I can still eat my eggs, so I usually make an omelette or some scrambled eggs or something like that. Then I have a tomato, cucumber, um, my coffee and I have this bread without any sugar in it. It's called um, Uno bread and you can find this in a lot of supermarkets in Turkey and I really like it actually. And I also use a little bit of milk in my coffee but obviously I don't put any sugar in it. Excuse the washing machine in the background, but um, this is my breakfast for today. One slice of a whole wheat bread, then a omelette, my morning coffee, 
and some tomato and cucumbers i sometimes also make like a um, omelet with vegetables in it or like scrambled eggs sometimes some olives as well so you can definitely switch it up a bit but i'm very happy that i still can eat my turkish breakfast so yeah this is my breakfast for today okay so then between breakfast and lunch i can have a little snack this is just an example but you can have one banana or two apricots i ran out of a lot of fruits so the only thing i had left were um, peaches so yeah, I just switch it up sometimes and I think that's also not a really big deal. Then one glass of lactose-free milk and a few walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds or cashews. Sometimes I just eat walnuts, sometimes I mix them all together. So that's also not a very big deal. So then between breakfast and lunch, I'm having always some fruit. I usually go for apricots or a banana, but because I ran out of them, I'm going to have a peach. Uh, that's the only fruit I have left, so I'm going to eat two peaches today. So yeah, I just cut up a peach. Then I'm having some nuts, some cashew, uh, hazelnuts and... Um, what's that? Uh, walnuts <laughs> and then i'm also having a small glass of lactose free milk the dietitian told me that you always have to take a glass of uh, lactose free milk or yogurt together with your fruit um so yeah that's what i'm having for a little snack today then for lunch um the dietitian told me to have a meal with vegetables or like soup or something like that sometimes i just have a salad soup and a slice of bread sometimes i have like a typical turkish dish um, with only vegetables and yesterday i made a pasta with some uh, vegetables so yeah you can also switch this up a bit um, but this is what i usually have for lunch so for lunch i'm going to make this whole wheat uh, pasta this is the first time i'm trying this so i'm eating this instead of my uh, whole wheat bread or those wasa crackers so yeah i'm going to give this a try and i'm going to make it with mushroom some creamy sauce and i'm going to throw in some other vegetables as well and maybe a little um, cucumber and tomato on the side so yeah let's get started so I'm going to make a bit extra. I think I have enough for three days. So this is my lunch for today. I also cut some extra cucumber and tomato and I threw some extra vegetables with the uh, whole wheat pasta. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. And as you can see, I made enough for a few days. So I'm going to put some in the freezer so I can eat this next week or uh, whenever. Then between lunch and dinner, I can have another snack. And I usually have a peach with Turkish yogurt and I mix it all together, which tastes delicious. Also, sometimes I have a banana with a little bit of cinnamon because I know if you're pregnant, you can't eat too much cinnamon. Um, and then I mix it up with the uh, Turkish yogurt and then again, a few nuts. Um, this is also my favorite snack. I really love to mix it with the yogurt. It's like a little fruity yogurt, which I really like. Um, so yeah, that's between lunch and dinner. So then for my afternoon snack, I'm going to have some yogurt. This is Turkish yogurt and this is quite thick. If you compare it to the yogurts that they sell in the Netherlands. But I really like a Turkish or Greek yogurt. And then I'm going to add another peach. I know I already had one peach, but that's the only fruit I have. And um, I'm going to have some nuts as well. So I'm going to cut this up and mix it together with the yogurt. And then I have like a little fruity snack. dinner i can have like fish meat or chicken or only vegetables if you are for example a vegetarian or vegan then again i have um, a salad 
or some other vegetables on the side and then again i can choose if i want to vasa a crisp bread or a slice of whole wheat bread so that's usually my dinner and i had dinner out yesterday and i had a kufte which is like a turkish meatball and some turkish mezes and i'm very lucky that i can still enjoy that because turkish mezes are usually a lot of vegetables or something with yogurt so i can still enjoy that i'm not gonna lie as a pregnant lady this diet is quite hard because you're craving food all the time and i love carbs and i love ice creams especially in the heat right now and i just keep in mind that it's just a few more months and then i can eat everything again if you are also on a similar diet um, i wish you good luck the last couple of months so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions uh, please let me know in the comments down below and uh, i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye